Hi guys, just arrived uh, in Sydney, M7 at the moment. I'll just do a little update from uh, my last video with all the smoke around. It's sort of cleared itself up. Possibly won't 
might see too many European like your Volvo and your Mercedes Benz, your Scanyas, you probably won't see too many older ones of those on the highway. Which uh, I guess if you're turning over trucks about every four years it probably doesn't really matter. To that question, no, they're not as comfortable, but there is a lot more space, especially in these big caps. A lot more space. Although a, uh, a Volvo Globetrotter has really got quite, quite a bit of height, but I can stand up in one of these, even though they haven't got the complete flat floor. But, uh, they have come a long way since the early ones. Slow down for this car, and yeah, I think you realise it's a road actually comes in.
they're doing some name changes with the roads authorities as well. I think it's called National Vehicle Safety Regulator now, something like that. So three or four states are getting that now, and they're going to be all sort of combined. So all have the same name. City of RMS and your big roads and your South Australian roads. All going to be the uh, all going to be the same. A little change there probably won't matter too much. So looking at changing things again. Long ago. They will go electronic eventually. Most of the other countries in the world have got it, so I'm sure it's going to be coming. come at about 8 30 9 o'clock I usually try and uh, take up most of the road to get around this corner so try and come up the inside and I have had, had to have to come on coming down the left hand side I don't know how he actually fit it down the left hand side but he, he managed to but, uh, I guess so we're uh, just about to drop off the trailers I'll be leaving about 10 o'clock tonight I should be all finished by about 3.15 some sleep, get up, if it's not raining we'll go for a walk, have breakfast and leave around about 10 if we're lucky, time's sort of starting to, uh, starting to be the same sort of both ends now, 10, 30, 11 o'clock down in Melbourne and around about 10 to 10, 30 out of Sydney so got that right for the trailers I'm towing, um, the other drivers uh, get up at 7 and leave at 1 in the morning but things have slowed down the freight a little bit, something a little bit quiet, it's understandable I guess after the Christmas rush, although there wasn't much of a rush this Christmas but uh, we done pretty well, didn't have to take any time off well there now I've been doing much personally myself um, Twelve months ago, by a, uh, I bought a new car, which was a Mitsubishi Triton. Yeah, probably a lot of people are cringing right now. Why did you buy one of those? Value for money is probably the reason why I bought it. Getting a full drive, pretty reasonable price. But uh, I did want a Ford Ranger. They just when the new 
ones come out, they sort of overpriced themselves, so it was a bit hard to uh, justify the money for those, one of those. So maybe I should do some videos on uh, all driving. I have taken down some dirt roads, things like that. Not too much. In by myself most of the time, but there is a, uh, another driver at work wants to go out, he's got a this in the barra so you, we might go out together one weekend it's good to travel with somebody else rather than go on your own um, I did try it out a couple of weeks ago um, small track called the Curtis track up in the Cape Otways um, and the Otway Ranges then we've got a uh, small track a little bit muddy but uh, yeah we got through alright and then we went across a big mud hole and then a creek and then up a big hill so they actually put it into uh, first time I put it in low range four wheel drive so maybe I'll start another channel and uh, what not to do four wheel driving I didn't even uh, track was pretty good to start so I uh, yeah didn't even air down the tyres so it was uh, Probably a mistake on my part, but I had done it pretty well. Um, different if it had been a bit wet or it had it rained. I think it had a little bit of rain the week before, but uh, it might have made it interesting going up because the hill got steeper as I got up a little bit further, but uh, handled it pretty well. I did get some all terrain tyres for it, which is a must, I guess. I don't think I would have got them up there in the standard ones, but. Uh, Maybe I'll think about starting up another channel and doing that. Maybe I can learn something as well. People can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Alright, I'm just about my destination. I just wanted to give a quick video, just say what was going on. I'll be doing some more. Any questions anyone has? As I say, just try and answer them. Discuss anything, uh, wants to know anything. Um, update on the BPs. The BPs seem to be doing the same thing everywhere, getting rid of all the trucks. <laughs> but I haven't been back there for a long time, so I don't know what's uh, it's probably been about three months since I've been there now. But that's the way that is. Alright, just about turn the driveway, so I will uh, drop these trailers out, find a place to park, and uh, have a bit of a rest before I go tonight. Alright, thanks guys, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.